What's up everyone? So we made our trip to Texas there and back safely. We're here um, back in the shop. We have to do some welding. So we're gonna be doing some practice with the welder over here. Um, we got a wire feed from a good friend of ours. Thanks Daniel Walker for hooking us up. Um, I appreciate the trade. And we're gonna take it at the Harbor Freight. So we're gonna get some practicing done. We've already started practicing a little bit. We kind of suck. So we're gonna keep practicing, but we're gonna weld up the exhaust because this is what happened. It's pretty loud as you can hear. It's, you know, definitely uh, sounds pretty beast, but check out how many miles we went. We went 1,236.8 on two and a half uh, tank fulls. So it's just pretty good for a G35. It was averaging 25 to 26 miles to the gallon. There was one point it was doing 28 miles to the gallon, but we had to do some more aggressive driving, which killed the mileage. But it's doing awesome. The exhaust is loud. So now we're gonna get under there and see what the damage is. All right, as you can see, we're under the car. We do have a small leak on this downpipe. We'll fix, no problem. Um, these exhaust shocks eventually need to replace. They're not leaking, but we'll replace them soon. Aftermarket downpipes with uh, O2 sensor extensions. They work pretty good. But this, this is not good. And this here goes back to a Borla muffler. And it looks like someone welded up a factory piece into the adapter here. So basically, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this from under the car. We're gonna take these bolts out um, and we're gonna try to weld it off the car first. We kinda suck at welding, so we're just gonna do our best. And if we can't make it work, we're gonna figure something else out. All right, so we took the wire brush to it. As you can see, this is how it broke off of there. So we're gonna try to basically weld it back on the way it broke off. This exhaust will just be getting replaced uh, after we move. Unfortunately, it's really expensive for the exhaust on these cars, so I'm not gonna be able to afford it, so we need something to get by. Um, and this is definitely not acceptable for Texas. So we're gonna weld that up. My welds are not the prettiest, but I'm gonna try to make sure that it's strong, and we're gonna try to get it to not leak. Uh, I have a welding mask, so make sure to wear a welding mask and gloves and preferably something long sleeve. So we're going to try this and hope for the best. All right, it's not perfect, but it's definitely closing that gap up and it looks pretty decently strong. I will have to go, to the, I am not really good at welding. I am not saying I am either. I am okay with this. I will practice. All right, now that we've got that welded back up, um, it's mocked up back to where it was. I'm hoping it holds. I'm thinking about maybe adding a couple little support braces to kind of hold it up a little bit better, just to kind of give it some more strength. Like I said, this exhaust will be getting gone soon. The front half is all new stuff. Well, fairly new stuff. This back half though, it's, it's all kinds of stuff, but we'll get it put back on the car and uh, we'll see if it help, holds up. All right, because I didn't feel very comfortable with those welds the way they were, I mean, they look like they're strong enough they look kind of crappy to be honest, but like I said, I'm no pro. Uh, I'm gonna weld this piece of stainless to this pipe and that'll give it a little bit more structure. But first I've got to grind this area down. All right, so I welded this piece on. Welds aren't terrible actually, surprisingly, but uh, I went ahead and put some primer over this. Just used some normal Rust-Oleum primer and some Ultimate High Gloss just to kind of keep this from rusting. That way it'll last longer and it can get me by until I get my new exhaust. So now that this is painted and welded back up, we'll put it back on the car and hope it don't leak.
Well, there it is. It's all welded up. Has the support. Has paint over it so it won't rust, at least temporarily. This is only temporary fix, guys. So I know my welds are not pretty. I will say that a thousand times. Now we have to weld up this little tiny baby pinhole that's right here. And then we should be good. We'll start it up and see if it leaks. how loud it's leaking from up there uh, there's nothing I can really do about the flex pipe at this point in time but we'll get out from under the car well as you could hear it sounds pretty good from behind um, just it leaks up front but that's basically all we can do from here we're just gonna have to get all brand new exhaust race header uh, down pipes mid pipe all that stuff it's pretty expensive for the sedan G35. If it was a coupe, man, I'd be, I'd already have one. They're a lot cheaper. But uh, yeah, I'm experiencing the welding life now. So I'm not that great, but I'm getting a little bit better. My first attempt was absolutely horrible, but I don't know if you found the video cool or entertaining or something to pass time, definitely hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We will have more stuff coming. Performance mods will be going into this real soon. We're going to be in Texas, so we might as well have it as fast as we possibly can get it. So definitely stay tuned, everybody. Thank you again for watching, and stay tuned for my next video because it'll be painting those trims black. So hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. Bell notifications, don't forget. Thanks for watching.